Family travel is on the rise. In fact, more than 27% of families are planning to take three or more vacations in the next year. Disney travel expert Janine Turnator joins us in studio to offer tips on how to plan. Thank you so much, Janine, for Great joining to be here. us. What a fun job you have. It is fun. Talking travel is always exciting because that's what everyone's looking forward to is planning their next vacation. Oh, and I'm right there. It's prime time for me. And I thought it was interesting. I was reading that basically people want to go somewhere different every year. And that's definitely my family. They do. And we're seeing this trend of it's all about experiences. So people are kind of reverse engineering these days the way they plan their vacation. Instead of saying, here's the destination I want to go to, they're saying, what do we want to do? What do we want to experience as a family? And then how do we do that? And where do we go to do that? And you know, you're seeing big brands like Disney really embrace that. Mm -hmm. um, they have so much more beyond the parks now. All of these signature experiences from Disney Cruise Line, right. Adventures by Disney, which is curated, all encompassing tours of everything from here close to home or a tour in Japan in 2019 people want to have these really unique immersive experiences. Now that my kids are a little bit older, like high school and junior high, I think it's educational to go and do some of those. Absolutely, and I think when you look at this, it really takes people through those different stages of life. You take them to the parks when they're young, yes. you know, and then you go do these more immersive experiences when they're older where they're going to get different things out of it. Well, do you have any tips if anybody's looking right now? Number one is to know when to go. The cheapest times are going to be early June and late August. If you have the flexibility, maybe smaller children go before everybody else's you'll find better deals that way another thing I always tell people is to broaden your lodging options um, it's not just about hotels anymore there are so many more options out there you have resorts like Disney's Olani where you have the option oh. for hotel rooms but they also have their Disney vacation club condos mm -hmm. um, and those bigger properties well my family where I have three kids you know if you're doing a multi-generational trip the grandparents may want to stay in their own hotel room I need more space so I would opt for one one of those, but we're all on the same property and in the same resort. So what are some of the popular cruise options right now? For Southern California, for example, you could do the cruise out of San Diego. And if you're a really big Disney fan, they have their um, Adventures by Disney Southern California, which is a really cool behind the scenes look at everything Disney from Disney Studios. They take you into where they do all that Imagineering. So you're going to see stuff that may not even be out there yet, what they're imagining for their next attractions. And even the uh, apartment where Walt Disney stayed when he was creating Disneyland. So the nice thing about cruising is that number one, it's all inclusive. And oh, yes. number two, you don't really have to worry about anything. You can do those adventurous things um, within your cruise and it's not all on you to plan it all. Exactly. And combining it with Adventures by Disney, I don't know, that's got me hooked. So, well, thank you so much and just shedding some light on this and it makes me want to go book a vacation. Absolutely, my pleasure.